In this video, I wanted to share with you how I make pixel art. So when I start making pixel art, the first thing I do is I lay out the picture that I want. And so when I do this, I actually highlight the whole thing. And this key over here, I go to format, conditional formatting, and I assign each number a color. And then once I'm done and I have it all laid out and it looks the way, I just delete all of those so that only the numbers are left. And then this tells me which colors I used. So from here, I go ahead and I pick how I want the questions to be. And in this one, I'm using the indirect formula. So I made myself a note where each one is. So question one, the answer I'm going to make one, and it is located in E41. So this right here needs to be the same as what's in E41 if I want it to work. So I'm going to click around. And once I have all the ones that I want selected, I'm going to go to Format, Conditional Formatting, and then Custom Formula. Okay, and so I need to know where this answer is. So I'm going to say equals dollar sign, and this answer is an AW9. So AW dollar sign 9 equals. And so I want this to change colors when it's equal to what's on the other sheet. So I'm going to say indirect quotation sheet 2. And it was an E41. So when this one matches sheet 2 E41, then I want it to change colors. And so here, if it's not a color that I want, there's lots and lots of hex codes out there. You can go and find the one that you like. And the one I want the background to be is B A F F C nine. So that's the color I want the background to be. So done. So now if this is like four, it goes away if it's one. So if I needed to change this for another course, I would go to sheet two and I would just put in my new one. So if it was the word they, then if I come back to sheet one, it's not going to be colored. If I update it to the word they, it's going to be colored. So I'm going to go through and follow this process for all of them. So I know all the fours, it tells me I want it to be dark pink if it's a four. So I'm going to click on some fours just to show you another formula. And I'm going to delete these numbers once they're done. So for this one, go back to custom formula equals, so it's dollar sign, AW dollar sign. And this one is in row 14, indirect sheet 2 E 42 in the quotation. And then the color I want it to be. So my legend says that four is dark pink. All right. So I'm just going to continue this for all of these. And then I will show you again what happens when I'm done with it. All right. So I am on the last one. So I just wanted to make sure you see how I finish it. So I've been clicking around. So now I just need to click on all the spots that I have left. You'll notice I have two colors left. I've been trying to do two colors per question just because this is a larger puzzle. You don't have to do the background. I just did it so I could kind of add a little bit of mystery to the picture. Um, you can also use a different formula, a not equals formula, in which case you can start with the picture and then just have a different color on top. And then it would reveal so the color on top would disappear. Um, that's a definitely easier way to do this if you have a larger, larger picture than this or you have lots of um, characters to it. Like if you look, I have a dog man on my website. That was definitely easier to do the other way. It's also easier if you use student artwork and you can check out the video as well. So I'm just going to click these last few, do my last formula, and then show you what I would do from here. Okay, so my last one. So 
So I just made a copy of my formula each time. And that way I just have to paste. So these should be that. And then I'm going to copy my new formula. And then click on all my yellows. And if you're trying to click on multiple colors and you're not sure, you can hold down the control to click on multiple squares and it select them. Just a caution with your colors. Um, if you use a blue that's very similar to the blue that it uses when it's selecting, you're just not going to be able to see it until you unselect it. You may notice in the top left, I went ahead and as I finished each number, I deleted the number in the code for it. But I haven't deleted the rest of it. So my last one should be yellow. So I'm going to use the same formula. This time I want it to be yellow. All right, so my picture is done. However, right now it looks really bad because I have all those numbers in it. So what I want to do is I want to highlight this. Okay, and I'm just going to hit delete. Okay, what you don't want to do is do not go to format and click um, to clear formatting because yes, it will get rid of your numbers. It will also get rid of all the formulas you just put in. Learn that one from experience, so don't make that mistake. So just highlight over it and hit the backspace button. All right, so now let's test it. So... I'm going to delete these and then I'm going to enter them in as if I was a student. So one, two, and as I enter these in, I just want to make sure it doesn't give the picture away too early. So you're really starting to see it at five, but that's okay. All right, so now it's done, but you might be thinking, hey, you have the answers in the slide right here. You're right. So I'm going to click on sheet two. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this information. This was just so I knew what the formulas needed to be. I'm actually going to go ahead and take out this part and the problem numbers. We don't need those. Okay. So for here, I'm going to take and I'm going to select these. So I'm just hitting control and holding down. And then I'm going to make the text color white. And then I also want to come up here and click up here. So if I have a student that's looking around, it's not going to be there. So then I'm going to click the arrow down here. I'm going to hide the sheet. And there we go. So now this is where I would share it with my students. Um, and so if students go looking around, they can find under view, they can look for a hidden sheet and see that you have hidden sheet too. Um, and they can also like scroll down and look for it. Um, but you'll notice like we just scrolled past the answers and there's nothing there because the text is white. So if you have a student that has um, time and scrolls down every single column, they will see it, especially if they like check every single one. But it is harder. So if you just hide it. There you go. So this is how um, I'm making the celebration since I have just reached one year of sharing on my blog. So if you guys want free math resources, you can check out my blog, pyrscare.com, and this is how I create my pixel art.